What's up guys, I'm Hyper. Welcome back. Today we're going to be getting the Corrupted Firehawk. I am so excited. It's also the Glory of the Firelands Raider achievement. First, we gotta get to Mount Hyjal. It's over here in Kalimdor. Now, if you play on the Horde side, you can just fly there. It's super close by, but there's also a portal up here at the northern part of Orgrimmar at the top. You'll see where all these other portals are. The Mount Hydral one is right here. If you're Chad and you play Alliance, you're gonna start at Stormwind and go to the northeast to this little island up here. Head down here to where all these little portals are. Now this is a raid, so this means that we can do it on normal and heroic on each character that you have. So you can essentially try it twice per character a week. This one right here will take you directly to Mount Hydral. Once we're there, we're gonna mount up and we're gonna head to the south just a little bit. Head through these trees right here, through this little open pass. And we can see the raid exactly where to head to from there. Fly down and head there. Select one of the difficulties and just head in. Right off the bat, the first six achievements are super easy. All you gotta do is kill all the bosses on Heroic. The only thing to know here is that Shanox is one of the bosses. He does not spawn until you kill enough of the mobs in the map. He'll spawn at the center place, come out of that center little area, and then start doing wide circles around the map. Just catch up with him and kill him. But before you do that, if you want to, you can actually get the next achievement at the same time with Bucket List. For this one, when we find Shanox, just kill Rageface. That's his little pet. Don't worry about the other one. And then we're going to take Shanox at different locations around the map. This one's super easy, but it does take a little time, maybe 20 minutes. And if you want to make it easier, you can kill the mobs before you start dragging him around. Now for this one, you're definitely going to want to track this achievement. So go into your achievements page and enable the tracking method for it. Under your quest sections, you'll see all the different locations and they will turn white when you complete that section of the achievement. You may have to walk around a little bit in that area wherever it's at. Just make sure you don't attack Shanix until the very end and all five have been completed. Then you can get the achievement. Now for this next one, I did mess up a few times. It wasn't too hard. It is very simple to understand, but it can be very easy to mess up. Now there's solo methods you can try to do on your own. Personally, I could not do it on my own. It was much easier having a duo partner. Even then, it is tricky. You're going to want to create a slash kneel command macro, put it on your hotbar, and then press that macro about two to three seconds before the fell druid spell kneel to the flames is finished casting. Now both you and your partner are going to want to do this. If one of you gets hit by this flame then you will not get the achievement ultimately the best method is to have a duo partner start at the same time communicate to them that they have to use the nail command two to three seconds before the cast finishes make your way up the court together go stand on one of the little auras beneath the orb once you're standing on one of those little auras beneath the orb keep an eye on your partner and make sure that they're at the same location or use voice comms perhaps and make sure you wait until kneel to the flames is finished so you're going to want to kneel one more time when you get up there probably Probably. When he finishes casting the spell, then both of you can right click the orb and channel it and you should get the achievement. When he finishes the spell, then stand up and right click and channel the orb. If you do mess it up, you can leave the instance, wait 30 minutes, and then both of y'all can try again or change the difficulty. The key here is just to be patient. This one may take a couple tries. Now there is a teleporter here that can take you to that spot if you have to come back in and try again, but it is unlimited try, so thankfully they give us that. Here's how you get not an ambi turner. You're going to hit the right leg of Lord Ryleth first, literally that's it he's located right here if you need next up is bell rock just hit him first and as long as you got decent dps it should be fine you just have to avoid like three stacks of something that he can put on you but it's super easy to solo this so i wouldn't worry about that either pretty much the same thing with do a barrel roll you just have to hit alice razor without getting hit by anything that's over there again if you're soloing this raid is super easy you can definitely one shot anything anyways so you probably already have this one last is death from above so when you come to the spider boss over here when you engage with him he's gonna shoot up to the spider web then he's gonna send down these little spinners only only kill one of them. Climb up the rope, kill the boss, and that's it. When you get all of those achievements, you are done, and now you have that awesome corrupted fire hawk. Let's go! Y'all have a fantastic rest of your week, and don't forget to grind harder, baby. Let's go!